Yeah, greetings everyone. Welcome to Dynamics Hub YouTube channel. So today we are going to be doing a careful revision on a message podcast by Apostle Joshua Simon. In this powerful message podcast, Apostle Joshua Simon unveils the common misconceptions surrounding prayer, emphasizing that many believers prioritize welfare and specific requests over personal growth and spiritual edification. The essence of the talk highlights the paramount importance of edification in prayer, urging believers to focus on their spiritual strength and personal growth. Apostle shed more light on how genuine edification through prayer catalyzes spiritual growth, enhancing believers' ability to navigate life challenges. However, an observation is made about the current state prayer practices among many, many. However, an observation is made about the current state of prayer practices among many, noting a marked weakness due to a narrow approach that overlooks the profound benefits of the robust prayer life. Apostle offered practical guidance advocating for consistency and dedication in prayer. Believers are encouraged to carve out personal time of prayer away from distraction to build their spiritual capacity. The call to action is a fervent plea for the revival of prayer life, stressing the necessity of a dedicated and endless approach to prayer that goes beyond mere ritualistic practices. In the concluding moment, Apostle Jesus Simon passionately calls for continuous engagement in prayer, integrating it into the daily fabric of believers' lives and ending with powerful summon for a renewed spiritual hunger and passion for growth through prayer, leaving the audience on the edge of their city, yearning for more insight and revelation on how to deepen their prayer expression. So today I'm going to leave you with a powerful question. What transformation could occur in your life if you shifted your focus from merely requesting in prayer to actively seeking spiritual edification and growth? Please make sure you watch this podcast from beginning to end and make sure you subscribe, drop your comments. Thank you. Let me tell you something I've observed, and I, I say this respectfully, and I think it's a correction that the body of Christ needs to get. There are few believers who pray for edification. Most believers have left the ministry of edification to prayer. Most of our prayer is either warfare or request. There's nothing wrong with warfare. There's nothing wrong with request, but let me tell you the dimension of the growth dimension of prayer is for edification. Where you don't enter the place of prayer with a prayer request, where less than five percent of your prayer is in English, you are not just entering to harass God, you are not just entering to say, Lord, there are powers sitting on my destiny, leave destiny. The goal is edification and you feel the growth you feel the stretching from your spirit man very few believers pray for edification you can know it because you stand near them they are weak as weak as whatever they love god but their capacity is weak strength is discernible is why we fall off over everything you don't get this miracle you don't get that miracle you harass god all around but there is a level of strength and stability please hear me the next move of god will come on the wings of genuine prayer thank god for miracle service don't get me wrong there is a place of supplication and all of that and there is a place of intercession for others but can i tell you this those who were here many years ago in zaria will tell you there were few times when many people today that are greatly used by god around there were a few times where people took out time to actually pray for their own request. Believers who gather and just are praying, no prayer point, no prayer request. It's towards the end of the prayer. They'll just say, Lord, just to let you know we have not eaten. And we trust your grace for supplies. Just to let you know that we have this, this, this issue. But the average believer right now prays. But our prayer does not bring the level of growth and stamina because that prayer is largely driven by lust, the need for things. So I can go to pray and spend six hours there. Correct, well done. But that six hours is almost five hours of harassing God. When will the power come, oh God? Is that prayer? That's inquiry. You've not started praying.
there are few believers who can who can pray if a request is not if a prayer point is not raised you want them to pray you have to raise a prayer point say this then they say oh i am now follow and i'm prayed turn it into a prayer point but when you say let's pray they just stand and say so what should we do now and other people are praying and they are just watching but when it's all right everybody stand up lord jesus lord jesus my life my life this and that this and that i'm not saying anything is wrong with that but have you learned the edification ministry of prayer the edification ministry to the point it used to be a big deal to be filled with the holy ghost if you were not filled with the holy ghost it was as if you were naked when believers gather by yourself you will find one brother and say sorry can you pray for me it used to be a project but right now there are believers who can be in a place for many years they know about being filled with the holy spirit and they don't argue it but they have not seen the need they just feel one day if it happens let me just be filled capacity capacity there are set there are certain levels of grace and anointing that is a waste to come to you it's like pouring a drum of water inside a cup it doesn't make any sense you need to expand please tell somebody expand 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 you don't expand by preaching you don't expand by going for ministration you don't expand just by by doing bible study for others you don't expand by conducting deliverance for others no you have to lock yourself lock yourself look at jesus the word of god filled with the holy spirit while others are sleeping they are the ones who need him he will get up in the morning and pray for hours it was a daily habit to the point that when it was time for him to go to the cross from the communion the upper room he branched gethsemane and prayed there he spake a parable to the end prayer is an instrument that we can use to correct anomalies i agree but please hear me learn to get into the place of prayer without prayer points the prayer point is you the prayer point is you many of those things will be answered when you are answered the prayer point is you there are many many requests that are a revelation of weakness when you access strength with God you will check and not find the prayer points again and you are looking at time you are not praying you are praying you you pop tom tom you are not praying five minutes you know let me tell you this god loves everybody but he rewards seriousness god rewards seriousness there are pastors who are like that every two minutes you are leaking something or swallowing something there are times that you go to pray my brothers and my sisters you don't know whether you are on earth or you are in heaven you don't know it's a realm there are many things about prayer when it's said most believers don't know because that is a progression in a realm that you must get to for that thing to make sense we must pray our weaknesses are becoming very glaring we must pray for capacity in fact most people never sought anointing it was a byproduct of some of these things they didn't even know that anointing was to be sought directly now all and sundry you see a lazy people around crying for benny Hinn's grace in in the secret place five minutes lord the, a, a double portion of what is on benny Hinn. Let it, and god is trying to say no 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 i can give you just i don't want any he, who, you know if you are god you give good gifts to those who love you and god said this is not how it works have regard for benny Hinn, not just god you want a double portion of his anointing and you are there five minutes snoring back five minutes snoring back no
revive your prayer life revive your prayer life revive the edification dimension of your prayer life revive the edification dimension of your prayer life revive the edification dimension of your prayer life please hear me revive the edification dimension of your prayer life don't just pray needs don't just pray warfare pray to grow pray to grow that's how many of us entered the realms of visions it was not a conscious request you pray your way till you break the gate that closes this realm and the next realm prayer like a system of transport revive your prayer life say amen there are men of God who don't pray they are praying for me that's a deception is a deception from the pit of hell let me tell you this if you are a man of prayer and you are edified through prayer there is a signature that that the strength and the health of your spirit man is written upon you are we together now your communication and everything shows that there is a track record of prayer you can stand on stage and mumble tongues and people look and the, the scarceness you know that this one is just is just it's not just the huskiness of your voice there is a it, it, the deep calls on to deep people know that this one <clears throat> you have you have is like creating a hole there is a a position your leg can stand in prayer when you find a widespread congregation not praying it's because the leaders don't pray you only transfer to people out of the abundance of the grace that is on you please learn to pray don't pray when you have a meeting this is what people do when they have conferences they now organize imaginary um, um five or seven days prayer i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but if you have to wait for a program to pray you will never be powerful in this world everybody say prayer i'll find a place to stop so that we can continue a man of god said something that blessed me I think it was dr paul and i heard something that he said i i scrabbled it somewhere and it it blessed me i said boy i was going to share this i can't i can't i can't find it again but i think he was talking around the fact that it was it was something about prayer how that when prayer changes you then everything that belong to the old you will have to go with the old you because you are now changed are you seeing that now yes it's like changing an house. I don't need to carry the tree that was in my former house I didn't like it so I left the house the tree goes with it when you are changed many requests change too he spake a parable listen the church started on the wings of prayer and we must pray we must pray those listening to me please pray it doesn't matter what nation you are in pray you don't have to be the president of anything to pray right now this obsession about coordinator i'm the coordinator of a prayer group so i pray if you pray because you are a coordinator you are a hypocrite coordinate yourself behind a tree coordinate yourself behind a door and sit down and pray if there's no space in your house use your bathroom use your toilet lock up that place and pray stroll out in the night and pray you don't have to shout and harass the people there but pray if your bed is uncomfortable stand up from it stand up from it don't pray one leg is on the ground 20 or 40 percent of your body is on the bed and you are praying god knows you are weak he doesn't leave you weak he gives you strength prove that you have received it by standing up you don't have to have a bad dream then you wake up and say you don't hurt. i will show you that i'm a member of koinonia Shaka, ta, 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 ta. no no 
deposits of that prayer so that while you are sleeping the prayer is like you pray there are people who are praying even when they are not praying yeah huh? their prayer has created a prayer motion that even in their sleep prayer is going on their prayer has become a portal for angelic activities they don't have to pray for it to start call on to me call on to me call on to me Zechariah chapter 12 we'll stop here and pray we'll continue next week Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 10 come up here through prayer verse 10 Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 10 and it shall come to pass in that day said the Lord and I will pour upon the house of David the house of Koinonia and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and supplication and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced and they shall mourn for him as one mourned for this and that and that and that the spirit of grace and supplication is a spirit that comes upon you to pray if you pray only because you are in prayer band you are not a prayer warrior a prayer warrior is not somebody what is who is a warrior remove prayer a warrior box at length every day a warrior chef cooks every day whether there's an appointment or not a warrior lecturer teaches every day a prayer warrior prays every day if a prayer warrior prays only when there are people there so that they will hear your voice you are doing exactly what the scribes were doing the scribes and the pharisees were never called prayer warriors they were called hypocrites are we together we'll take 10 minutes or so to pray come up here then. New dimensions in the spirit. Prayer. Hallelujah. Before we pray, just cry in one minute. Lord, thank you for what you have done at this level. But baptize me with a fresh hunger. A hunger that swallows up every achievement that has been wrought in God in my life. Thank you, oh God, for the people I have mentored. But a fresh hunger. Pray for a baptism of spiritual hunger. Culminating into passion. Not just passion for studying books. Not just passion for studying the Bible. Not just passion for going to church. Not just passion for serving in the house of God. Passion to pray. Not just praying and asking. Praying and growing. Praying and rising. Are you praying? Honga o God, honga o God, honga o God, honga o God, honga o God. Seke 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 seke, rakata branda skada balakato, honga, honga. Challenge pride.